Okay, and we're back on the field. Uh, guys, why don't you tell our viewers what we have? Absolutely. This match is the third of the second half. We have Dead Terrorists versus Defendant Champions Pandemic Legion. Uh, with Dead Terrorists fielding a Claymore, two Slipnias, two Dramials, a Daredevil, two Signables, and a Scimitar. And again, we have uh, one hell of a Matari lineup for uh, CCP Claw. He's going to be very happy about this. Everything on the field pretty much is Min Matar or, uh, or Angel Cartel. So it's looking pretty good. We've got the countdown five seconds in local and the match is underway. Uh, both teams, incidentally, bringing their, um, their logistic ships in at range. Um, the one from Pandemic Legion surrounded by all the smaller craft, the, uh, the destroyers. And we're underway. We are indeed straight away there. Um, one of the Dramials for Dead Terrorists taking heavy shield damage. Uh, Rep back up, but uh, losing almost all of his armor. And as I said that, he explodes. And I've proven wrong. And we have damage kind of being split around. Uh, one of the pandemic... Something just popped. Pandemic Legion <laughs> slight near it looks like. Or no, Pandemic Legion Sleipnir now is almost out of shields. Yeah, but it looks as if Pandemic Legion are definitely going to um, have to get their shit together in terms of getting their logistics pilot sorted out. Um, Ravi from um, from Snig there of Pandemic Legion pretty much losing all of his armor in one go. Looks as if we're going to lose one of the Sleipnirs from, um, from PL. We've got one signable down um, as well. Yes, and this slip near on PL is in structure, but he appears to be getting wrapped up. And he's gone. That leaves on the dead terrorist side a signable scimitar claymore slip near slip near. Yeah, we're sorry for the delayed commentary here, folks, but this is happening so fast that it's very difficult to keep up. Um, we can see um, the um, scimitar there for um, dead terrorists. Uh, looks like he's running out of shields pretty fast. Pandemic Legion are getting their damage onto him very quickly. That they are, and he's gone. With the only ship on the PL side taking any damage being one of the Sleipnir, and now actually they've switched over to the Saber, which has almost had a shield, and it's gone. Yeah, but it's pretty surprising um, just how quick the terrorists have started to lose ships here. I mean, we know Pandemic Legion are good, but uh, this worked pretty fast and went pretty quickly in their favor. Um, we've got a lot of drones on the field as well, uh, mainly um, Hobgoblin 2s um, from Dead Terrorists. We also have a lot of Valkyrie 2s from Pandemic Legion are kicking around as well. Um, it's a hell of a lot of damage going down there. Yeah, and as you were speaking, uh, Dead Terrorists lost another Sleipnir, leaving them with just a Sleipnir, Sinoball, and Claymore on the field. Um, and there are other Sleipnir is now falling um, very fast. I, I don't think this will take much longer. Yeah, we've seen this uh, quite a bit in the past that uh, these logistics setups, once the logistics is down, they pretty much built around them and it's the cornerstone rather than having any form of backup plan. You can see there, signable of Fazili from um, Dead Terrorists just absolutely melting and uh, he's going to be down pretty much soon. I think this was an easy one to call for Pandemic Legion. Maybe we were thinking Dead Terrorists could put up a fight, but um, I think we should have known better from PL. Yeah, and I think what was most interesting about it was trying to... The second you, you try, you, you notice that damage is being taken, the ship is gone. That's usually an early sign that, uh, that things aren't going quite as they planned. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time now for uh, dead terrorists. I mean, it's going to be a case of dead by name, dead by nature, I think. Yeah, dead terrorists Claymore now almost had a shield. All they have left on the field is the Claymore and the sign of all. I don't think that sign of all is going to gonna pull one out and that claymore is gone yep just the one angel cartel faction cruiser the signable left for uh, dead terrorists now um well pandemic legion pretty much maintaining their entire field of ships uh, you can see there all of the uh the valkyrie twos from pandemic legion just swarming over towards that signable now yeah that poor guy's at about half shields um it's not gonna not gonna last much longer. Pandemic Legion, of course, the, the favorites having won last year, so I guess we shouldn't be surprised. And he's gone. Pandemic Legion, take it. And we can hand back to Soundwave.
Thank you very much, guys. Pandemic Legion pulling out a uh, an expected victory. Uh, some might say, even though dead ter terrorists are a very uh, competent team, we are going to take a quick break uh, for our 1920 match, Death from Above versus uh, Noir Mercenary Group.